Hey, good morning guys. Coming to you with this uh, holiday edition of the vlog from the Old Barn Homestead. Hope you guys are doing good today and uh, doing something fun, enjoying the, the holiday that we have. Um, so anyway, I'm just working on this, finishing this up. Just thought I'd chat with you for a little bit while I'm doing this, mocking this up. So got the Metalwork Monday video up on the chop saw uh, dust collector. I guess on that one, really, it's a chip collector because it doesn't produce dust. It, it produces, you know, chips. Um, and uh, it seems like the, the comments coming back on the video are pretty positive that, um, you know, from multiple people. In fact, you know, Meech13, uh, you know, he's not always exactly generous with throwing the comments out, you know, compliments. Uh, he will here and there. Um, in other words, he's kind of hard to make happy. He's my friend over in Alabama. Sent me a text and said he thought it was uh, one of the best ones and uh, had another uh, guy. Damn it. I hate that. Got the wrong freaking size. It's always something, you know. Anyway, um, had another comment from, uh, from someone that said it was the best Metal Work Monday yet. So I appreciate that. And so, you know, probably do a mix of the formats, you know, ones uh, where I don't really say much, just kind of go right into the action and then sum it up at the end. Um, and then a mix of the one that, uh, you know, like I just did where I'm kind of talking throughout it. And uh, Shut Your Face Garage always points out that, you know, why do, why do you introduce yourself at the end of the video? It's kind of, he didn't say this, but it's kind of stupid is kind of what he was alluding to. Um, I mean, you, you guys can see what kind of friends I have, you know. I mean, I got some really great friends that, uh, you know, are highly complimentary and supportive um, no matter what. But anyway, so um, the thing I was going to talk about today real quick is uh, about learning from other people, you know, and just how much I've learned from so many people. Uh, people and so many of you guys watching the uh, watching me and you know pointing out things that I'm doing wrong or um, you know this and that um, and I was gonna link you a video or it's actually a um, it's a, a playlist from Tom Lipton those of you that do machining work or you know follow me from what little bit of machining work I do uh, probably know who Tom Lipton is those of you coming from the auto body you know side you may or may not. Um, he's a really, really good craftsman, machinist. Talk about attention to detail. The guy is phenomenal. And he hand built this replica of a baby, uh, a Wilton baby bullet vice that is just unbelievable how it turned out. He's got several videos on it. Um, you know, just everything hand crafted, hand machined, hand fabricated all the sculpting and, and finishing on it. He, he used files to, to, to file and sculpt it with. You know, he just just uh, just an incredible uh, guy. Uh, very talented, very skilled. So uh, I'm gonna link the video to you guys on, uh, for you guys on that, for those of you that hadn't seen it. And, um, and then, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, anyway, so I'm just uh, messing around here today on this uh, Memorial Day holiday. I was gonna make a little uh, towel rack here that will look that will go in here something like that. Um, and I was just trying to kind of mock it up <clears throat> for right now to see what that's gonna look like. Maybe should it come out to the front a little bit. Don't want it too far, you know, to disrupt you from standing over the sink. But if it's in there, you can't really get to it too well. Maybe down something like that. Anyway. I'll let you guys go uh, check out the video uh, series uh, playlist here from Tom Lipton, and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thank you.